Mike, a couple storms on the map to start the week. Uh, looks like it could be another interesting one. Well, this one, unfortunately, is going to be heading right up the uh, east coast. And if it weren't for uh, Sandy itself, this would be considered a pretty powerful storm. So uh, it will cause some issues. It's not going to be anything like Sandy was. But nonetheless, that is a storm system to watch. As it gets over the warmer waters of the Gulf Stream, it's going to start to intensify. Now, the cold front over the Plain States is not a very strong front. It will have a little bit of rain and rain mixed with snow out ahead of it. But all in all, the uh, air behind it isn't a whole lot colder than in front. And <clears throat> excuse me, in fact, with sunshine, it, it actually in some places will be <laughs> slightly milder behind that front uh, once it comes on through. So a brief warm up with this system here and then the next cold front will start to come into the Pacific Northwest by late in the day today. As we head through tonight, you can see the uh, system, the cold front continues to move east, but most of the rain falls apart along it. And the storm system along the northeast, uh, this will be called a nor'easter as it comes uh, on up uh, north of the Cape there, and that will continue to intensify and actually cut back toward land a little bit. Most of this is going to stay offshore as far as the, the low pressure system, but there's going to be strong winds back on shore, and there's going to be mountain snows again, and a lot of heavy rains along the coastline. Next cold front, not too strong either as we head through late in the day tomorrow into uh, Montana. There's the precipitation estimate over the past 24 hours. You can see parts of the southeast, southern Mississippi, Mississippi Valley. Northern Plain states have seen some light amounts of uh, rainfall. Add on the next 24 hours, we'll add a little bit to uh, both of those systems, as you can see. <clears throat> Most of this one is going to be offshore for a while, but again, uh, after the 24 hour period, we'll start to see some rain moving into the uh, east coast area. A little bit of snow up along the uh, Canadian border there, maybe some accumulation in uh, parts of Wisconsin or Minnesota, but farther south, it's too warm for that. A little bit in the mountains of Washington as well. Checking out the temperatures. Highs today only in the 40s. Great Lakes, most of the northeast, but you get from the Ohio Valley southward. 50s, 60s, even 70s by the time you get to the Gulf Coast. Low temperatures tonight going to be coldest in the northeast and the northern plains with both areas seeing some areas of frost and freezing temperatures. 40s into northern Dixie, 50s by the time you get to the Gulf of Mexico. There's a jet stream by Thursday. The nor'easter is moving uh, northeast and that will continue to move away. Uh, you can see we're replaced by a ridge there for a while later in the week. So a two or three day warm up before the next trough starts to move into the plain states as we head through the weekend. That's a look across the country. Now let's take a look at some local forecasts. For Idaho Falls, Idaho, mostly sunny today, high temperature of 61 degrees. Duluth, Minnesota, breezy periods of rain and snow, high of 43. And we'll go to Providence, Rhode Island next, mostly sunny and chilly, high temperature of 45.